a commandeered short tail power hour from the boys. Why? Because I'm laying them great. That's all there is to it. Welcome to Mind Freak Monday. Screw this mindset Monday stuff. I'm going to blow your minds. All right, you ready? Are you ready? Uh, that's my Chris Angel trick for the day. The boys were right behind the camera. They put me in front of the camera. They want me to do uh, just another manic mindset Monday for you guys on short tail power hour. You guys really buy off on this stuff? All right. <laughs> so uh, they wanted uh, to talk a little bit about uh, banks not really wanting to foreclose. I know you guys really want to believe that the banks want to foreclose because they've told it to you so many times. So here's my advice. I'm a bank guy. I would like all of you with three, four, and five letter designations to jump off a building. Yay, go at it. No, not gonna buy it. Just a thought. Why? Because somebody tells you that, is it true? If there's 50% of the first note's value, do you really believe that a junior lien position is really gonna cure first and then go to sale and pay off their position? I mean, do you really believe a second position when they say, I'd rather just foreclose? And you know full well it's a negative equity position. Do you really believe an HOA when they say that they're gonna foreclose on a $1,000 lien? Really? They're gonna pay off $200,000 worth of note to protect a couple of grand? Really, you believe that? If you still believe that because you went to a training that told you it was true, or the voices in your head are telling you to do it, or the aluminum foil that you strap onto your head to keep the magic rays out of your head, I, I, you know, I don't know what it is. Let's cover this. From first missed payment to actual foreclosure, on average in the United States, I've heard from one year to 18 months uh, on average. I mean, I think we've all heard the stories of homeowners who haven't made payments in years, who haven't seen notice of sale. Now, it's all going to depend on market. Um, you guys are all over the U.S., so some of you need to know the, the different variations from less pendants all the way on up, but that, that's neither here nor there. The banks aren't in any all-fired hurry to do any kind of foreclosure work, and it's for a very simple reason. It makes them less money. My job, as it was described to me, was to limit the loss of the bank. Okay, I maximize my return, and I'm supposed to do that by any legal means necessary and I can go pretty far. Here's the reason I explain that to you. Uh, when you foreclose on a property, um, if you're in a junior lien position, certainly on a negative equity loan, you're not going to make any money at all. So of course they're going to want to cut a deal and make money. I don't care about the investors and they'd rather just foreclose and all that horse crap. HELOCs have a level of recourse. It's still a long, painful process because it's a valid credit line. But the bottom line on anything in a second position, you take the money you can, you write it off. That's just a smarter way to do business. Now, on a senior position loan and the guidelines, you've all believed as truisms because it was in your book when you got your two-day, four-letter designation BS training. And again, I'll say it so you guys don't write emails to these guys going, why does he keep bashing on us? Alex is a great presenter. Um, and for those of you who don't know, and I, I have no issue saying it, uh, we've checked the history books. Prior to him doing short sale training, he never worked on a short sale. Then he and his wife came to see me present on short sales, and lo and behold, there's a four-letter designation taught by Alex with eight certified trainers who've never worked on a short sale in their entire life. Um, the banks don't have guidelines. There are no set guidelines. It's about making a net return short sale versus foreclosure, and that's what you've got to remember. The deal has to be good to the bank. If you're running numbers even mentally in your head and they don't make sense, how will they make sense to someone at the bank? A file has to be a couple of elements to be successful. I think it has to be extremely simple and it also has to be extremely complex. It has to contain two elements. So the smaller the file is, that's a simpler read for a moron to process and yet complex enough to convey a story to an asset manager like me when I'm reviewing the numbers is what I'm after. I don't want to foreclose. Okay, I don't want to charge off my file. And I'm going to tell you the big secret why. You ready? I don't get paid any money. That's it. I get paid on the amount of money that I, the, the loss I limit for the bank. It is about my paycheck and my boss's paycheck and my boss's boss's paychecks. So for all of you who do blind escalations who don't even understand that, so you're going to go talk to my senior vice president about my behavior because I'm treating you like dirt. If I'm averaging 53 cents on the dollar, you think they're going to listen to you? Just pose that one in your mind. These are very simple concepts that I'm telling you, and you need to be aware of them from, from the onset. So 
do the banks prefer foreclosure? No, we don't. And in fact, a couple of weeks ago, they paid back all the TARP money. So there's nothing compelling them to do short sales. So if you guys piss them off enough, let me give you another piece of advice because I have done this for 20 years. In about 1990, when there were about a third of the agents there were right now, you know what we did at the bank? We'd hire a property manager and we'd put renters in the property and we sold everything online. We basically put real estate out of business. If you guys want to keep dicking around with short sales the way you're doing it, you guys are all going to be out of business. You got to get on the page. You got to do it with a systemized approach. You got to follow it. You got to do it again. And you got to stop believing the BS of the bank. Because if you keep getting sucked in by what a $10 an hour employee is telling you, or because your little three, four, or five letter designation told you you've got bank directed short sales, you're going to find out that you suck. Okay? That's it. I'm not going to even sugarcoat that one for you. Okay? Here's what you do. You get a good file, you get a good value, you submit it, you get it done right, you follow it up and you close the damn deal and you go help people. And if you can't do that, then here's my advice. 95% of the people in this world work until the day they die. And there are two places based on your current skill set that will hire you when you're out of real estate at the end of the year with your approach. Walmart and McDonald's. In fact, Walmart has defibrillators and they will keep you alive. This is the Short Sale Power Hour.